match. The guy screamed the N-word an astonishing 64 times in 40 <laughs> seconds. And trust me, he actually counted. Needless to say. I was a fool with a pin in the bed. If you ever get mad, I can write you a poem. I was a fool to let go of your love when I be writing the center of my poem. I need you right here up under my arm. When it get cold, you be keeping me warm. Even way better when I was not nothing, you made me feel lucky. So I buy you charm. Every comment is appreciated. And please, if you haven't already, make sure you like and subscribe. Thank you. Uh, make sure y'all smack the like button for show, and we're just gonna get into this. Yo, my kid just jumped on top of my closet door. What are you doing? Anyway, what's up, y'all? It's your boy Smell back here with another video. You already know the deal. Y'all already know what time it is, man. I got Batman with me. Got the gang with me. Got the whole squad with me. We're here for a turkey time video. Different type of reaction. Um, I wasn't familiar with this guy. I didn't recognize his face or anything like that. And he usually is very good with his storytelling. I'm, I'm going to try not to include too much of his content. I'm not trying to get frick. I'm not trying to get copyrighted, bro. So, you know what I'm saying? This is going to be a raw reaction. First time. And yeah, we're just going to get into it if you have time please check out some other content but if not go ahead and just leave a comment you know if you think anything you know i read all comments if you have anything that you want to say you know go ahead and just leave that comment i read all comments so let's go ahead and get to the video could probably call him the angriest man And on to the house that I'm about to own. I have a brand new car in the garage, and I have everything I need to survive in this world. I'm okay. Scanning it so far. From my perspective, as a person who's been on the internet for a long time, and who's just seen a lot of these sorts of people come up, for him to be, for him to be that old. I don't want to say old. I look, I had something in my fucking green screen fucking up. But, like I said, for him to be, for him to say something like, oh, 25 years ago, you know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta be, you gotta be up in age. So to me, he's either a, a pro player. Or like, cause, cause you, you don't, you don't, you don't play video games that long and, ach and achieve that type of success without having, you know, skill. Cause bro, look at him. You think he's like the, the personality guy, bro? I've, I've never heard of him. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm, I'm sure he's not going viral for him. You know what I'm saying? Talking to people. It's. It's it's his rage and probably, you know what I'm saying. He he he's he's better. He's real good at playing games. You know what I'm saying. That's that's the thing. I'm just saying, I can relate, bro. Because video games, I can say, have made me a more toxic person. I can admit that. I'm really happy right now. There's no sports quite as heated as these sports. <laughs> Man. Oh my god. This is just like that's acting. I wouldn't I wouldn't even say that's like rage. I mean, but it seemed like he was aiming for that keyboard. He was definitely aiming for that keyboard. Like, look at every, he said, I'm not hitting none of these monitors. <laughs> no, sir. Honestly, like he, he's going off on all this stuff about like rage. Like, bro, to me, he is like a dream come true. Like. You, you, 
you have something you're so passionate about and it is actually able to generate and produce you wealth. Not everyone is able to say that. That's like a dream come true. So really, like, I'm not gonna lie, like, I kind of look up to this guy. I'm not gonna lie. Look. But y'all saw how he looks, right? Like, it's all fun and games till the annual clip comes up, bro. That's all I'm gonna say. This model is to pump out one rage compilation after another. While... Okay, look, check this out. So, I used to watch Rage Todges. Shout out FaZe Jev, bro. And there were, I'm pretty sure there were, uh, I also used to watch like pro player Rage Todges because, look, I, I was like a Kai guy. So, I mainly know like COD pros. Um, So, this guy might be like League of Legends or something like that. Maybe CSGO. But, um, for me... Like, I, I just know that stuff is funny because, I mean, we all have those moments because we all know, like, games be on bullshit, bro. And not even just games, like, also the players you play against, they be on bullshit, bro. So watching that is kind of like, it's kind of like, a, uh, like therapeutic. It's like, oh, you know, I remember when I was feeling that, and now I get to watch someone else go through it type shit. So, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's... Like, it's just very common, so, you know what I'm saying? No, you know, I'm shout out to this guy. guy. Shout out to this guy. You know, he really turned his passion into his, uh, his, uh, you know, into a profit. That's 30,000. 800K? Yo. Okay, it looks like he's a, maybe a Fortnite pro? Oh, wait, no, he, it literally says season one, top 50 former pro. Yeah, I don't know what game that is, bro. But yeah, shout out to this guy. As in subscribers and count a lot of history with TF2, League of Legends, was top 20 in World of Warcraft, top 10 in Diablo 3, and had the highest solo kills in- This nigga is multi-game. This nigga doing like third person view fucking World of Warcraft nigga PUBG FPS 2 He's a god PUBG His Twitch about section features his most impressive gaming achievements including being skill banned from H1Z1 meaning that he was so good the admins thought he was cheating Despite his skills, this didn't translate into streaming popularity for the time being. Throughout 2016 and 2017, although he had some followers on Twitch, his live viewership was quite low. However, this was no problem, because rather than becoming a popular streamer, he was about to go pro. When Overwatch came out, he saw his ticket into the big leagues, and climbed his way into the- Well, I remember that. When Overwatch came out, there was just so much like hype around it, bro. I still really don't play it, but like, yeah, you knew like the game was gonna be big and like it was gonna have a huge esports team. Everybody was trying to get on. I remember everyone was trying to get on on that and Fortnite. First came out. Who this major? I'm telling you, bro. Like I said, it's all funny games. So he says it's the N word, bro. Your opportunity on April 23rd, 2017, he had one of the most notorious outbursts in esports history. After an enemy Widowmaker killed him repeatedly, his teammates accused him of standing still. And since he already thought the Widow was cheating, that pushed him over the edge. He said the N word <laughs> for 30 seconds straight. <sighs> I always bring this up because, I mean, he's the most prolific guy ever. PewDiePie said the N-word, and, you know, he apologized, blah, 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 but he's PewDiePie, right? It's like, yeah, he came back, but, bro, you're not PewDiePie, bro. 30 seconds? Damn. Yeah, man, that's hard to explain, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> The guy screamed the N-word an astonishing 64 times in 40 <laughs> seconds, and trust me, he actually counted. Needless to say, Twitch wouldn't work for two hours after I woke up, and once it finally did, my internet was lagging. So I was pretty upset <laughs> from the moment I woke up. Then... 
Let's look, bro. <laughs> look, bro. <laughs> Listen, bro. As a person who who may or may not have said the n-word while playing gaming online in the past. I'm just saying having a bad day, sometimes that's all it takes. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not even gonna lie. Of course, there's no excuse for it, but shit. What the fuck? Am I, what am I gonna say? What, what, what am I gonna say? You know what I'm saying? Trust me. I've said way worse than this. And I get it. <laughs> Zero excuse. And you know what I'm saying? This is from 2017, so you know, it looks like he probably made a comeback at this point, but holy fuck. Come on, bro. 64 times like that shit's legendary like like yo nigga pulled a deller <laughs> bro i was playing mw2 i was in a deller lobby bro <laughs> nah but dead ass though like nigga i bro i'm a type of person bro bro don't let me but like don't let me go negative bro whether i look if i lose bro, say goodbye Bro, say goodbye. In, you know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna say it here. You know what I'm saying? I'll I be pulling a Deller. <laughs> to gaming. As they say, you have to crack a few eggs to make an omelet. And you've got to break a few dozen keyboards to become a streamer. These clips would be reposted to- Yo, you saw he shook that hole. Listen, bro. This you can't really see it, dog. Hold up, let me cut off the light, bro. You think I'm about to just smash this, bro? What's wrong with you? No, sir. YouTube and are attributed with a decent portion of his popularity. <laughs> Get back game! Get back game! Bro, he was a Pizza Hut part. Pizza Hut, bro. Come on, bro. That's a fucking W, bro. From dropping the N word sixty four times to getting sixty four free pizzas, nigga as his esports career had been smited. In April 2019, he got a suspension from Twitch because of a sexist remark he made towards a female teammate. Oh my god, another fucking clip. Here we go. In Apex Legends. Well, of course I am. I don't have armor. You took it. Oh, shit. trash. Go cook a sandwich, you fucking Although he had said he wanted <laughs> <laughs> This nigga pulled the PewDiePie and he pulled the speed, bro. And check out my video I made on that, by the way. To change into precise, he couldn't. He was building a career off of getting mad and- Nigga, rage compilation 129, dog. <laughs> like, come on, dog. Like, yeah, like, like this nigga, his whole, that's literally his whole shit, dog. Come on. Toxic. So another incident like he this got, was. He got 800k off that though. Like you can't even. Like come on, you can't knock his hustle. Practically inevitable. He was like I said. I mean, look how they did speed, bro. Look how, like look how they do all these content creators. But this is 2019. This is way before. Like, damn. So yeah, this is even like yeah. That was not the time you want to be. You know what I'm saying? Exposed for having those type of remarks. That was that was definitely not the time. Oh my God! See niggas talk about poor sportsmen. Like, come on, dog. See, but that's the thing. Like, see him. He's different. He's a sponsored gamer. He has like a image to pro project. So even though he's supposed to be rage, it's supposed to be like more. He he rages at dying. Not him being toxic towards people, just him being just overtly, outwardly toxic. You know what I'm saying? Breaking his own stuff. Toxic towards himself, if you will. So that, I guess that's where he overstepped the boundary. Crazy. They didn't even tell me, man. I... 
guys but damn, like, they didn't even give him a like. Like was that his third strike? Maybe it's maybe that that's how they saw it. it was like his third strike maybe, or like it was his mo like he has had multiple offenses up to that point. But damn, that's tough, man. Game treatment. Twitch has a very long history. Honestly, like yeah, we all know like Twitch, like they're weird with their bands, bro. Like, <laughs> like bro, I would have been like, bro, there was a girl who was like simulating, and I'm sure she got sponsorships and stuff too. And she was simulating, you know what I'm saying? Those type of acts on the website multiple times. So bro, if I was him, I'm suing bro, I'm not even gonna lie. I'm getting the best lawyers bro. Like, we figuring something out. Was it because of his mental health? Well, no. In fact, the ban wasn't his fault at all this time. He had apparently been suspended for self-harm. The act in question. Dog. Dog. <laughs> I would have been like, you literally banned me for what I got famous for? Look, show all the clips of See, like, that's the thing, like, these big companies, they like to act like they, they, they know, but they don't know. Like, you're telling me he's had, he's, he's like front page of Twitch and all this other stuff, and no one is seeing him smash key, these cheap ass keyboards on his face. Because, bro, this keyboard, I'm telling you, I'm not smacking this against my face. It's going to hurt. Like, this is not a cheap ass keyboard. Like, he's... Like, no, bro. Nah, I'm suing. If I'm this guy, I'm suing. And after I just did all that to get in your good graces? Oh, no. I'm hiring lawyers, bro. This is a case on God. Question being him smashing a keyboard over his head, which he did all the time. I'm suing, and then I'm streaming on YouTube Live. Fuck wrong with you. You think I can do that with this keyboard, bro? No, you can't just No, bro <laughs> and Look at come on, bro <laughs> No, bro And I just tear it up. No That flimsy ass keyboard And guess what? He's grab another one. What the fuck? They're like five bucks. Because I know how he's been super toxic in the past, but apparently he like, like allegedly, and this would, especially even from his own, from his own mouth, he also said that he. Like, why is he bringing up Ninja? Who cares what Ninja got to say? Tried clean up his act and go straight and narrow, or you know, clean up his act. You know enough. Yeah. Like from the sound of it, he don't even fucking know. It's not like he don't really know what's going on. <laughs> under the impression that the site had exiled him for good. But all of a sudden... Nah, bro. Nah, bro. I'm not letting a fucking company play with me like that. Hell no, bro. I'm switching all the way to YouTube. You'll never see me on Twitch again. They fucking literally, they spit on you, bro. Hell no. My Google account and got in, even though I have two-factor authentication. WTF do I do? He then tweeted at YouTube, at Team YouTube, my account got hacked. I have control, but the person changed my name and deleted my vids. Damn. Anyway, I could get my channel restored. If you were to check his YouTube channel at this point in time, all of a sudden his profile picture was removed and his name was changed to Cardano Foundation, with a live stream running on his channel of someone talking about the cryptocurrency Cardano. Interspersed with clips of its creator, Charles Hoskinson, speaking- Oh, he probably clicked a bad- Hopefully he didn't click a bad link, bruh. As well, which was kickstarted by him downloading an EXE file from a fake sponsorship email. He was able to get- I knew it, bro. He clicked the bad- uh, And that's how they get you, bro. Listen, I watch a lot of- What's in the, what's it called? Some Ordinary Gamers, CoffeeZilla, all them dudes, bro. Don't click no links, bro. If you don't know who they are, delete it.
get control of his most daily and seeing decent success. It's possible that the new format of short content is just what he needed to take it to the next level of fame. We have no way of knowing how Deller's doing how he feels about his career, or his life in general at the present moment. We can only hope that he'll get the help he needs and has a brighter future ahead of him. I've been Turkey Tom, thanks for watching, and until next time, leave me alone. Yup, definitely, definitely W video, uh, you know what I'm saying? A lot of stuff to consider if you want to be a content creator, you know what I'm saying? Like. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's important to think about the mental, mental aspects and how that can affect you. Look at how it affected him. You know, we don't know how he's doing right now. Hopefully we can see him doing better in the future. If you have anything I want to say, go ahead and let me know in the comments down below. And we out, baby. Hey, Taco.